He's back! Now we need to create some player values for our player. And to do that, we are going to start writing our very first script. So go to server script service, add a script, name it leader stats. So what we want to do is whenever we a player gets added, so game players the player added connect function and pass through the player now we will say local leader stats equals instance new folder and parent it to the player now we need to say leader stats dot name equals leader stats with a lowercase l that's important it needs to be lowercase l it's like a built-in roblox thing for our leaderboard, we're going to keep track of goals for the player. So local goals equals instance dot new int value comma and parent this to leader stats. Then goals dot name equals goals. And you can lowercase it or uppercase the G if you want. It's completely up to you. What else do we need? We need a conditionals folder. So goals are going to be the only thing that we show for the uh, leaderboard for for the player leaderboard. Uh, you could add a bunch of stuff if you wanted to, though. I mean, you could add goals, gems, coins, saves, steals, whatever you wanted to. But we're just going to add goals. We're just making a, a simple soccer game. I'm just showing y'all how to get the skeleton of a soccer game made and then I feel like if you get that far you should be able to tweak it and customize it to however you want to make your own soccer game so anyways we are going to create a local actually I like to put this in a separate script so there's our leader stats but inside our leader stats script we're going to add another script we're going to call it conditionals leader stats so I'm actually going to just copy in this and then we're going to say uh, local leader stats equals player wait for child leader stats. And now we will say local conditionals equals instance dot new folder and we're going to parent that to leader stats. Now we'll say conditionals dot name equals conditionals. All right, and then here we will put our conditionals. So we need local has possession equals instance dot new full value conditionals has possession dot name equals has possession. And you get the point. So I'm going to fast forward to the rest of this. I think that is all we need for now at least if we need any more we'll come back and add them but we just got has possession possession cooldown shooting and sliding and i think that's it for what we need for our player values i believe that is it for getting the game set up for the most part in our next video we will actually create the game loop so we're going to create a game loop before we actually start building gameplay mechanics i think you'll be surprised to find that it actually takes very little um to implement the soccer part of this game but most of the work comes from just just like any other game uh building the game loop and just getting the structure of the game built that's what we're doing first it may be boring but that's it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next one where we start creating a game loop